Through Decision 2024 right now, it is primary night in four states. Today, voters in Hawaii, Washington, Alabama, and Georgia head to the polls. 161 delegates are on the line. And that means we're only one week away from the primary here in Illinois. March 19th is our day. So what do we need to know before we head to the polls? We've got to ask our political reporter, Marian Ahern. Who else? She's got some of the top things that you actually may see on your ballot. If it's Tuesday in an election year, <laughs> It must be a voter day right. somewhere, right? Somewhere. Somewhere. Well, let's start with the presidential election. And both Joe Biden and Donald Trump, they hope to clinch their party's nomination tonight. And as the results of tonight's primaries, that they should be counted, they should be able to clinch it. The Biden versus Trump rematch is already in full swing, but the delegate count makes it official. And each of them are just short of what's needed. It is very possible it will happen tonight. That makes next week's presidential primary in Illinois and three other states maybe a little less dramatic, but there are local races that we will be watching closely. Starting with the Democratic primary in the Cook County State's Attorney's Contest, Kim Fox is out. Either Eileen O'Neill Burke or Clayton Harris, one of them will face a Republican candidate in the fall. We're also keeping a close eye on the referendum called Bring Chicago Home, also known as the Mansion Tax. It would allow for an increase on taxes from properties sold worth more than $1 million. New money would go towards homeless initiatives. There has been a court battle, though, over this referendum. It is on the ballot now, but they are appealing to the Supreme Court. So that referendum question, they are, you know, it's really at the end of the ballot, right. and what happens too often, people miss it. Mm. Not a good idea. We have much more on that coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. Why our Cook County Treasurer is telling us that low voter turnout can really swing how a referendum is decided. It's at the end and it's very long, too. So mm -hmm. I just voted yesterday. So reading all through it, you really got to understand what you're reading before you take that vote. Good all to right. know. Good We're to gonna know. have much more on that at five o'clock. All right, thanks, Marianne. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. Well, for more in-depth coverage of the upcoming primary, you can always depend on us here at NBC5. We have a complete voter's guide on our website and on our app. Alex has mentioned that he's used it. I've used it. It's really, really informative. So all you have to do is scan the QR code on your screen. It'll take you right to it. It's a one-stop shop for everything you need to know. Really good thing to do over the next week.